Hello, I'm B. Mills above and welcome to my channel. I think by now we all know my thoughts on religion. It wasn't that long ago that I posted a video talking about why I'm an anti-theist. But I've been watching quite a bit of MASH lately and Father Mulcahy is a regularly recurring character. For those of you who've never seen that show, he's the camp chaplain and his personal uh, faith of belief is Catholicism. And that got me thinking about the place I think religious chaplains have in the military. I'd like to talk about that today. And if you ask me, our days are numbered, falling one by one. It seems to me somewhere we blunder with my faith and trust. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny. Um, I'm just getting over a cold, so I think my voice is a little nasally. But uh, I seem to remember from my time in the military that a required degree to join up as a chaplain was for social work. I could be misremembering or that requirement for qualification could have changed in the near decade since my medical discharge. I bring up the social work degree because part of the job sometimes is talking service members through personal issues. See, the military didn't deal with people who suffered from mental illness well and probably still doesn't. Actions taken for a mentally ill service member often seemed more punitive than anything else. A quick content warning before going on. At one point during my military service, I was going through a rough time and I was having some issues with suicidal ideation. That's the content warning. I'll give you a moment to decide if you'd like to continue or move on to the time on the bottom of the screen. All right, here's the meat. There were more than a few occasions I held the pistol I'd been issued by the armory to my head on shift with my finger on the trigger. Fortunately, I obviously didn't go through with it. If I had, you wouldn't be able to see this wonderful countenance on your screen. Therein would lie the real tragedy. Like I said, the military has some bad ways of dealing with mental health. You see, I was a cop, and a cop that can't carry a gun isn't a very useful cop. Now that I've got that bit of establishing information out of the way, let's get back to the actual topic at hand. Despite being an atheist, even before I signed up to join the Air Force, my first stop for mental health was one of the base chaplains. You see, I knew that if I started seeing a doctor about my suicidal ideation and the doctor decided that I wasn't allowed to have a weapon in my position for really any amount of time, I wouldn't be useful to my flight and my status as an active duty airman might have been up for debate on a medical board. That was something I couldn't let happen. So I decided to talk to a chaplain first. I decided to speak with a Catholic one, uh, since that's the religion I was most familiar with. I spoke the language, so to speak. So I'm in a meeting with the chaplain and we're talking and he tells me that I need to see an actual professional. The condition I was in, you see, meant that I was beyond his ability to help. And seeing as I made it clear that I wasn't a Catholic anymore and our meeting wasn't a confessional, even if I were, I didn't have the privacy that a Catholic in a confessional would. And if I didn't see a doctor, he would speak to my squadron commander and I'd have orders from him to see a doctor, regardless of the outcome of those meetings. So, with all of that in mind, what do I think of military chaplains and their place in the military now? 
I think at least for the time being, they're absolutely necessary. As much as I hate religion, as harmful as I believe it is, there will always be religious people in the military. And those people will want to celebrate their religious services. And since we're talking about the American military, it'll always be a globally present force. Since it'll always be a globally present force, those military members who will want religious services will be in countries where English isn't the primary language spoken. I was stationed in Germany, despite a lot of German speaking English, it would, would it really be realistic to expect a German priest to come on base and perform a religious service? Or for a service member, many of whom don't own cars overseas, to travel off base for religious services? No, no it wouldn't, not at all. Those are my thoughts though. I'm curious to see what all of you think about this topic, so go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you feel so inclined to give me and my channel support, consider supporting me on Patreon where $5 tier patrons have two-day early access to most of the videos that go up on my channel. Or consider getting me something from my Amazon wish list. Every little bit helps and every little bit is greatly appreciated. You can find all of my relevant links in the description by clicking on my link tree down there. Take it easy everyone and I'll see you all in the next one.